moment to say that I'm gay. I've been meaning to do this for a while now, but I finally feel comfortable enough to get it off my chest. Um, I really have the best life. I got the best family, friends, and job a guy could ask for. Um, I'm a pretty private person, so I hope you guys know that I'm really not doing this for attention. Um, I just think that represent and visibility are so important. Um, I actually hope that like one day, videos like this and the whole coming out process are just not necessary. Now, NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell said in a statement today, quote, The NFL family is proud of Carl for courageously sharing his truth today, representing matters. Look at this. He says, we share his hope that someday soon statements like this will no longer be newsworthy as we march towards equality for the LGBTQ plus community. We wish Carl the best of luck for the upcoming season. That's a Hello everyone, this is Kendra Dix here, right here on Viral, as we talk about, on Viral, Carl Nibbitt. Yes, Carl Nibbitt. Many of you may not know that name, may not be heard that name, but Carl Nibbitt is a NFL defensive lineman for the Las Vegas Raiders. Yes, Carl Nibbitt revealed on Instagram post that he is gay and he wants to stop the stereotype and make it the new norm that if people want to live their lives, live their truth, they can live their truth. All right. And join in the conversation using the hashtag viral him connect. And don't forget, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe as can. Tell a friend, call a friend, hit that subscribe button so you won't miss a thing. As we talk about Carl Nibbitt, reveal that he is gay and he's the first actively player in the NFL to make this historic announcement. Well, let's get to the latest and see how all this transpired with this. And I learned a long time ago that what makes a man different is what makes him great. This morning, the league and sports icons are honoring Carl's uniqueness and celebrating his courage. This morning, history made in the NFL. I just want to take a quick moment to say that I'm gay. I've been meaning to do this for a while now, but I finally feel comfortable enough to get it off my chest. Carl Nassib, defensive end for Las Vegas, becoming the first active NFL player to come out. It's historic. The first openly gay active NFL player. The league's been playing for more than 100 years. The 28-year-old writing that he's agonized over this moment for the last 15 years. I'm a pretty private person, so I hope you guys know that I'm really not doing this for attention. Um, I just think that representation and visibility are so important. In sports, it's still a big deal when people come out because there is not a lot of representation. And I think the dynamic of coming out in a team sport is you're dealing with the personalities of so many different people. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell releasing a statement saying, quote, The NFL family is proud of Carl for courageously sharing his truth today. Tweets of support coming from other NFL stars like Saquon Barkley, J.J. Watt, Julian Edelman, and the Raiders organization tweeting, Proud of you, Carl. It's been a long and slow march up the field towards LGBTQ plus inclusion in the NFL. More than 45 years ago, Dave Copay became the first former player to come out three years after he left the NFL. The headline then reading, Dave Copay, ex-NFL player, admits being a homosexual. Since then, Michael Sam came out before he was drafted, but never played regular season games. Hope that like one day... Videos like this and the whole coming out process are just not necessary. Um, but until then, you know, I'm going to do my best and do my part to cultivate a culture that's accepting, that's compassionate. To the LGBTQ plus kid sitting at home who sees this video on Instagram, you know, might find a lot of hope there. It's going to be a really big deal for especially young athletes who often struggle with their own coming out really makes me emotional because it reminds me of like me being young and I didn't see that representation and to just see it now in pro sports and to see it more in Olympic sports it's, it, it changes the game like the world is watching these events. All eyes on Carl Nassib as he heads into training camp with the Raiders ahead of his sixth season in the NFL. Uh, by the time the season comes around, Raider fans, all they're going to care about, can he sack the quarterback? You know, the sexual orientation has nothing to do with it. In addition to... Carl Nibbitt revealed that he is gay and he's playing in the NFL as a defensive lineman. And like that com that man said, the commentator, people don't care. You know, that's you living your truth, live your truth. 
live the way you want to live and be happy with it. You know, during the, this month right now, a lot of the, the pride month in the month of June, people are trying to be more progressive and more open-minded now than never before. Uh, people just shun people if you were gay or bisexual, anything like that. All right. Let's hear what you people, you people had to say about Carl Nevis revealed that he is gay and he's the first active NFL player to be gay. Take a look. I uh, just wanted to come on real quick and talk about Carl Nevis' announcement today, um, becoming the first active NFL, NFL player um, to come out as gay. So for those of you who are commenting about uh, straight people, heterosexual people don't come out of um, the closet, they don't um, on a daily basis have to talk about being um, heterosexual. So why does a gay person feel the need to have to come out and, you know, public about it and, and, and make all this drama about it? So it's about visibility. So Carl is living his truth. You know, um, many of us, when we were younger and gay, we didn't have uh, role models to look up to. We felt alone. Um, there's a lot of self-hate. The suicide rate amongst uh, LGBT is very high. So about, I think, 40% of um, all suicides are um, in the LGBT community. So, um, again, just him coming out and speaking his truth and becoming the first gay uh, player in the NFL, it's so important, so important, so important. It's going to save so many lives. Um, so, yeah, that's why. Support for the LGBTQ community through initiatives and pride nights like this one at Las Vegas Ballpark. But that corporate show of inclusivity hasn't always translated to players actually coming out. So Carl Nassib's announcement today isn't just historic for the NFL, but for all of professional sports. In a minute-long message posted to his Instagram, Raiders defensive end Carl Nassib became the first active NFL player to speak these words. I just want to take a quick moment to say that I'm gay. The 28-year-old said he'd meant to do it for a while and finally felt comfortable getting it off his chest. I'm a pretty private person, so I hope you guys know that I'm really not doing this for attention. Um, I just think that representation and visibility are so important. NASA's message was matter-of-fact. The impact of that message, impossible to measure. And I'm so happy for Carl that he felt to do it, and he doesn't know how many more people he's going to impact for just doing that one thing. Nicole Williams is the founder of House of Vegas Pride. She says in the sports world, players are in an environment where being out as gay is not normal, which has made messages like Nassib's incredibly rare. So with anything, it's going to be difficult to be that odd person out. You're already under the stress of your contract to perform. Now you want to add your personal life into it. Chris Dabin with the Henderson Equality Center says what's prevented more players from coming out may be fear of reaction. Are your fans going to be disappointed of who you are? Are they not going to like you anymore? Is it going to change their mind? Are your teammates not going to accept you? Yeah, the stigma between uh, being out and being proud of who you are is really still there for a lot of sports, a lot of industries, a lot of states. The rights are still something that we're fighting for to be able to be who you are. That's why Brady McGill, the president of Las Vegas Pride, says it's so important for someone like Carl Nassib to come out and be visible, to set an example for others that it's okay and not that big of a deal. It's an idea that's reflected in data. The Trevor Project reports that more than 80% of LGBTQ youth say that LGBTQ celebrities have positively impacted the way they feel. McGill says he hopes to see the day when announcements like these aren't necessary. Nassib hopes the same. So we hope that like one day videos like this and the whole coming out process are just not necessary. Um, but until then, you know, I'm going to do my best and do my part to cultivate a culture that's accepting, that's compassionate. A little baseball history for you tonight since we're out here at Las Vegas Ballpark. Len Burke became the first openly gay MLB player back in the 1970s, although he was not out 
publicly until after his playing career. He was from Oakland. He played for both the L.A. Dodgers and the Oakland Athletics. And he once said that it was harder to be gay in sports than in anywhere else except maybe president. Earlier this month, the Oakland Athletics renamed their Pride Night after Glenn Burr. Reporting, Jackie Kostek, 13 Action News. A lot of positive reviews and positive messages for Carl Nibbett that he's just living his truth and living his life. And, you know, like I said, we don't know how people are and we can't make assumptions and labels of how people is. You know, if they want to come out, they come out privately. We just have to respect it. And um, two, like I said, that commentator made a good point. Why should it matter if he's gay? If that's what he chooses, that's what he chooses to be. A lot of people coming out being gay, um, the dude from The Bachelor coming out, Colton Underwood, and a lot of others. Even um, you can see even more people coming out. But um, like I said, um, there was a lot of rev- a lot of um, messages. Even NFL Commissioner Roger Cadell had this statement to make, and as well as the NFL. So, like I said, long as it don't affect you, it don't matter you, and may affect your money, don't worry about it. Let them live their life. Let them live their truth. So that's all we can, you know, say for that. Well, thank you all for watching this edition of Vibes. We talk about Carl Nivers coming out as the first NFL player to be gay. I've been your host, Kendra Dick, saying so long, and we'll see you next time for another edition of Vibes.